Hi friends, my name is Cassidy. Welcome to my channel. Today's video we are playing The Sims 4, but only as this child or toddler in this case. I want to see um, if you can survive in The Sims 4 only playing as non-adult Sims. Like I know as a teenager you'd be fine, but like as a toddler or a child... I was curious. I don't know if anyone else has done this. I'm sure they have, but I have not watched anyone else doing this. So it's all new to me. So, but we have little Amelia Parker and her parents, Tim and Veronica. And we're just going to be playing as little Amelia and seeing what happens. <laughs> I did give her parents jobs, but outside of that, we were not controlling them at all. Like, we're only controlling Amelia. And in The Sims 4, toddlers can just potty train themselves. So, I did make her traits as independent. So, that helps. So she could just put herself to bed and learn, teach herself out of body. But like, um, we will see how everything else works out. And also toddlers can just reach up and take food off of the counter in The Sims 4. Or at least they used to be able to do that. I'm just, they, they still can. It's fine. Like really the only thing she can't do is cook and clean and as long as they are autonomously doing that, that is all you need. <laughs> so I think this is gonna go pretty well. Like this may be a really boring video. <laughs> And I did give the parents, I think they both have, um, like, they're family-oriented, I think. I can't remember. So I did make it a little easier on myself. If I wanted to make it harder, I could have gave the parents, like, hates children. <laughs> Trait. Really, the toddlers in The Sims 4 are highly independent even without the independent trait which i did give this particular toddler but they can do like way more than like a toddler in real life can it's not very uh realistic i want to try it in the sims too because i feel like that one would be a lot more dramatic I'm not even paying attention to what the parents are doing. They could burn the house down and I wouldn't even realize it. <laughs> and toddlers can like basically just ask for anything, like anything that they need. They can just say, hey, do this for me in The Sims 4. So I think it'd be fine, honestly. We're gonna hire a nanny. So we got a nanny, which is kind of essentially what this video is anyways. It's like an adult sim that we can't control, like NPC. Look at her and her cat vest. Oh no, we've been put in a high chair. It's prison. I don't... Oh, getting out of the high chair maybe be a little more complicated. Release me. Let me get out. Let me out. Um. Okay. <laughs> we were released from the high chair. She put us back in and then immediately took us out. Okay, I don't know why I'm saying us, but 
So really the worst thing is like if they put the toddler in the high chair, you can't ask to be let out like you can for everything else. So then you're just kind of stuck in the high chair until someone lets you out. Like release me. If they, they're just going to bed and like leaving me in the high chair. Okay. But she put the she put the baby to bed like um autonomously. They're not cleaning up though. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that like it's pretty easy to survive in the Sims 4 just playing as a toddler because the Sims 4 toddlers are so independent that they don't need they don't need anybody. They're strong independent toddlers and they don't need nobody. Their only weakness is the high chair. If someone puts them in a high chair, they cannot get out and they can't ask anyone to take them out. So you're just up to hoping that a sim will autonomously take them out of the high chair. Like you can request a bedtime story. You can, they can take themselves to the potty. They can request a bath. They can request food. Like, and like toddlers in real life can request different things, but like they can't really take themselves to the potty. They can't, they aren't really going to request a bath. Most toddlers are not going to request a bath. So her parents are autonomously taking care of themselves very well. Like honestly, better than I could. <laughs> I'm a little upset at how well they're taking care of themselves because they're and their house like i'm like wow these sims are like on top of it because i would not be doing as well if i was trying to control all three of these sims toddlers in the sims 4 if you don't put a high chair in your house they are unstoppable because they can do everything and what they can't do, they can request that someone else do for them. Okay, but the nanny went in and left us outside, so... That's... Not very good. Can we just, like, wander off, like, fully? Just, like, wander... Imagine you come home and your nanny's inside watching TV and your toddler is just outside wandering around. <laughs> that would be like immediately like, excuse me. <laughs> she wouldn't, I don't know. We've been captured. Why is this some, the one thing is like the mom is sleeping in this like extra bedroom and they left they went to bed and left her in the high chair oh no <laughs> they went to bed and left their baby in the high chair oh no I told you the toddler's only weakness is the high chair oh no But last night the mom slept in the extra bed instead of in their bed. So I was like, what happened? And left her child in the high chair. So I, she was having a moment. Veronica was having a moment leaving her child to sleep in a high chair overnight and then sleeping in the extra bed. So it is Amelia's birthday. So we're gonna age her up. I was gonna do this as a child as well. But like it's so easy as a toddler. That like it's gonna be even easier as a child. Um, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> she just... <laughs> she 
she just farted on her dad and he just seems perfectly happy about it we're gonna age her up and then i was gonna do this uh through childhood as well but like if a toddler is so easy in the sims 4 Fluffy. I, then a child is gonna be even easier I do want to try this in the older Sims games. I do have Sims 2 downloaded, so that'll probably be next. She didn't age up. Okay, there she goes. Okay. Little Amelia is now a child. Okay, friends, little Amelia is now a child, and I was going to do this through childhood. But because toddlerhood was so easy in The Sims 4, I am going to call it and go ahead and end this video. What we learned is that Sims 4 toddlers are very independent and what they can't do themselves, they can ask somebody else to do for them. And I think I will try this in some of the older Sims games. I definitely want to try it in The Sims 2. I do not foresee it being as easy in The Sims 2. And really in The Sims 4, the a toddler's only weakness is a high chair. If you don't have a high chair in your house, your toddler is unstoppable. But that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye. Thank you.